Did I repeat? No. I'd like to put a motion on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lily's coming too. Okay, well, we can get. She is coming. Should we wait? I or think she's got to go up this, like up the stairs. Yeah. Okay, then I'll wait. Yeah, we we're live. We're not in the Hello. Hi. I can't see anything. Oh no, eyes dilated. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you need to guide you? Uh, make sure. <laughs> there is there a cord. There is a cord. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Black and black. Okay. It printed you a packet, Lily. You didn't copy, but it would be usually. I'm still working with my old packet. I didn't ask you to print it. I know, but I figured because I had additionals in there, I didn't want you to not have what you needed. So it's you right did there. one for me anyway? Just a little. I appreciate that. I won't be able to see it. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perhaps it'll clear up in a few minutes. I don't know how this. That's fine. I was just trying to be prepared. Thank you very much. We could hold it way back here. <laughs> it's yeah. like you can see nothing. Close, far away, nothing. Okay. So. She looks so stylish with the sunglasses. I know. Very All right, thank you. Um, okay, uh, Mayor Plummer is going to be late, so I'm going to start the meeting. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll make a motion to um, start the meeting. Certainly. Okay, roll call. Trustee Like It? Aye. Trustee Linfair? Aye. Trustee Keating? Aye. Trustee Sesser? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, the first item is the bill pay. Where's Brooklyn? Let's see, do we need him for this? I think, he's yeah, he, he's, I think he's in the middle. Brooklyn, you want me to do it? Oh, here he comes. You're up. Oh, he's checking on our He's checking audio. our sound quality. Sorry, I didn't give you very much. No nope. important EP responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Sure can be here. Double duty, we have to change your title. Yeah, so um, we do just have one item on the bill pay. It is our CMB bill um, for the credit card. Are there any questions on that? Nope. No, thank you for providing some receipts before the, the meeting for me. Thank you. Right. I'll make a motion to approve the bill pay at $1,122.77. I'll second. Okay. Roll call. Trustee Key. Aye. Trustee Lampier. Aye. Trustee Lakin. Aye. Trustee Stetzer. Aye. Motion passes. We're flying now. Okay. So wait, what's the next thing? Our agenda: the amended, uh, the amended Pittsburgh Canal Site escrow agreement. All right. So my understanding is that just some of the engineering um, requirements have changed, so they need an additional funding funding for it, but this is not something that we no we're not paying for it um along with the agreement i received a check for 1600 to add to the escrow account okay. that we established for this project okay. just uh, one one question about that i was wondering if if this amended agreement was reviewed by an attorney um it would be reviewed by the planning board to the attorney maybe he's on thank you Is there a motion to approve the amendment to the TY Lynn? Nope, that's not what it's called. So moved. No, that's <laughs> approved. Thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to scroll back up. The, is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Roll call. Trustee Lincoln? Aye. Trustee Lanthier? Aye. Trustee Key? Aye. Um, Trustee Stetzer? Aye. Motion passes. So you all are going to be very glad when Mayor Plummer comes back. Okay. Well, it's okay. I've tried to call you Mayor in my head many times. Um, okay, so now the third item is our village budget discussion. And we have um, a couple of outstanding things from our last to-do list. And I didn't know where we wanted to start, but the, um, we still haven't talked about the um, comptrollers uh, or the audit um, and some of the issues that you have there that you wanted us to discuss. And then you brought up something else today. I don't know if you want to talk about that today. Or not. Oh, yeah, things. that's probably part of the um, last part of the conversation about how much we want to fund the. Uh, you no, know, how much we want to fund the uh, contingency fund. Okay. It, it's ultimately the last decision we make on how much we're going to raise and not raise taxes. Gotcha. Okay. 
Can um, I hand it over to you? Sure. Okay. Sure. Before you get going, were you able to get all of the compensation changes Correct. into the current budget? I made those compensation changes. I had to change a few other numbers in to balance back to the zero tax increase. So yeah. we're still balanced. It was minor here and there. So I was comfortable with those changes. So Plus then, we added the arboretum, additional funds okay. for the arboretum, and then we added the ramp right away. Okay. So there were, I want to say the difference between the comp as budgeted before we made all the changes was was about 10k. And then nine, it was right eight, in there. Nine, somewhere yeah. There. And so some of that went to the arboretum increase. Yep. And then where did the rest of that go? Towards the grant writer. Towards the grant writer. Because okay. we had 10,000 to the budget for the grant writer. So okay. I had to offset it. By the time I, I got everything balanced again, it was, probably it was minor here and there yeah. changes. And if you push me to remember, I will okay. remember. Right. But it, it really was minuscule, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there to make it work. Okay, thank you. So everything's balanced again. Uh, so if I, I might uh, go ahead now. <clears throat> I did have uh, several items, most of which I brought up at the prior meeting, and um, there there was a spreadsheet that I submitted along with that. I don't think we necessarily have to, to go through that spreadsheet uh, unless people want to, but I did want to um, go over some of those points again and also add a, a couple of other ones. Um, and the way that I would prefer to do this is to kind of go through this list and then if there are questions, we can go back to discuss certain items. Um, but just to, to lay this all out, um, to start out the discussion. Um, no packets, so we can follow along. Uh, no, there's no packet. Yeah. There should be. I have one here that you can use because I cannot see. And I can't even find it because I can't you see to find it. Someone that we're seeing. This is yes. Okay. How about that? Would that would that work? That's fine. Okay, because okay, I can't see it anyway. Don't put these out. <laughs> Thank you. Generally, anything that we we'll discuss is should be available. For yeah, I, I did publish the, um, the, the tentative budget um, on my Facebook page, um, and I've been publishing those because I, I agree that um, this should be a matter for the publisher to follow up with me. That's fine. In the past, we have never put out the budget packet. Sure. Right? Um, and the tentative budget for the hearing is on the front page of the yep. village website. So it is there, great. Yeah. Now, that's that's actually a version back, though, right? I think that was. Uh, that was the budget five. that the board sent to te the right. tenth budget the board sent to the hearing. Right, and the one that we're discussing today has a, a couple of changes from that instead of the different yep. date. I think it's uh, four four one was printed. Yep, that's when I. Uh, when for discussion this. today, so just so that the public is able to, to follow along yep. the times. Um, so starting out the uh, the budget, if we look at the uh, the sewer fund. And some of this is based on issues that were cited by the comptroller in the January 2021 report. Um, the, the fund for this year, uh, I, I know, um, uh, Dorothea, you were, you were explaining this somewhat in the prior meeting, and I, I guess I still don't have a great understanding of um, why this budget for the sewer fund is not balanced. And we're, we're talking about um, specifically, I think, about $101,000 um, that we are, are taking from the unrestricted sewer fund balance um, that is not being replenished. So I know that there has been some discussion about changing the, uh, the balances that are held in the sewer fund, um, but I think that if, if the plan is not to repay that, then I would like to see a more clear understanding of, of what the long-term plan is for the, the reserves that we need to maintain. Um, and specifically, uh, Another issue that the comptroller cited is that the, the sewer rents have been steadily increasing at about 10% per year. And the, the problem with that was that we had quite a bit of um, the unrestricted sewer fund uh, held uh, in, in the um, unstructured part of that fund and not in reserves. Um, so it was a very large percent of the overall appropriations. Um, and what they wanted to see is that if we were going to increase 10% a year, there should be a justification in terms of the different reserves that were, uh, that were funding. And so instead, what we've got this year is um, zero dollars going to the, the sewer funds, um, as opposed to prior years where we had you know, $5,000 to each of the sewer funds. And um, we're still increasing the, the amount of rents. And so that, that really goes exactly counter to the, 
um, to comp in, in uh, my efficient so far, it goes counter to the comical lift recommendation. Um, so I wanted to, to get a better understanding of that. Um, I had some other comments about the, uh, the budget in general, and some of these might be very easy to address. Um, one of those is uh, one of the changes to the budget this year is that we're taking a percentage of the board member salaries and directing those towards the sewer fund. When I look at the budget, uh, even though I've been looking at this budget for months, I can't see where that's happening. It's, it's very difficult to, um, and so specifically what I would be looking for is a, a line item in the sewer fund uh, where we can see the, the shift of, of those, um, those numbers. You know, it's, it's just hard to, we, we, we can see the decrease in the board member salaries mm -hmm. um, and, and that's clear, but you know, where, where is that being reflected under the sewer fund? I think it's maybe lumped under the personnel item or something. Yes. Um, and, but it, it's not, uh, since that's, I think a pretty important change, I'd like to have that be transparent to people who are looking at the budget. And if someone's looked at it for months, I'll still cancel where that is. So you um, wanna have that reflected somewhere? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going, budget. basically we're billing, Instead of the billing coming from the sewer, the general fund, it's going towards the sewer fund, but then it disappears under the you personal costs. You don't want a line item under the sewage sewer fund. That Board member salaries, okay. yeah, should be right. in line up in there, I think. Um, Is that it? That's easy? my opinion, at least. I it's we'll in it. there under personnel salaries. Right. Uh, it's yes, yeah. yeah it's in, it's under that. administration. Is yeah. where it is. Yeah. Um, the so this Justin this, can can I pause you? Sure. You're on your third item. Do you want to do these one at a time and then talk about all of them? Talk about them one at a time because I've I've already kind of forgotten what your first item was. I apologize. Yeah. You're okay. Um, I was I was hoping to go through these and, and then go back. Um, so if, if you don't mind, I'd like to. It's just hard to get this uh, to change together. I can't walk. I can't. <laughs> She's got to take a pause, but there we still have three of us. Okay, no problem. Um, another change that is occurring this year is the, uh, the clerk treasurer combined role, and that's a decision that the board has made. Um, in the budget, it's not as clear as I would like again. Uh, and so we've got uh, the, the salary for the, the treasurer and the clerk, which is something that no longer exists in the village. Um, and so I would like to see that change into a combined item that says clerk treasurer. Um, otherwise, it's, it, it just seems to me a little bit hard to, to understand. So it'd be kind of a there would be a zero salary for the treasurer and the clerk, and then it could be combined or one. Yeah. And if, if we can come back to that one too, maybe there's a good reason to keep it that way. Just something that I was thinking about in terms of understanding the, the budget. Um, the this is this goes back to a point that I brought up at the beginning of the process. Um, some of the there, there's a very large amount, um, two hundred ninety-three thousand dollars, I think, for the DPW salaries, um, and that's a fifty twenty dot one. So it's like up seven hundred thirty-one percent. Um, and, and I know that there's a reason for that, a legitimate yep. reason for that, um, which is that it's uh, the, the intent was to break it out into the different sub items. So there's stuff like um, you know other personal services under sewer and, and uh, other areas, and the intent was to break that out later. Um, you know, when, when we, we move things around first and then later on once things are, are established with salaries, then we break them out again. I would just like to, to see that and, and have the public see that before we put on the budget because otherwise you've got, when you're looking at the budget, we're like, okay, 731% increase yep. and everything else is, you know, 100% decrease on a bunch of other personnel items and it makes it really hard to, to understand. I've actually started breaking that yeah. out and it's just before this meeting started, I have to run the numbers by Zach to make sure he agrees with how I did it. Awesome. Thank you. So it'll be in your next day. Great. I thought some of these would be very easy to. And yeah, that was the same thing under Mary as well. We put it all sure. in a bucket, got mm -hmm. it right, and then allocated it as yep. a last step. Yep. I, I just want to make sure, since I know we've already published the, the budget for the public hearing, that's something that, um, you know, I think pretty much everybody who looks at it is going to be confused about that one. Sure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, to avoid mm -hmm. the questions, I just like that there. So, um, sounds like it's already underway. Uh, the, this this goes back to the notion of the the reserves, um, and this is these are kind of the, the bigger picture issues with the, the budget. Um, I I don't have a good understanding um, of the what the capital expenditure should be for at least the next couple of years, um, and this is something that uh, I would really expect at the the beginning of the budget process, um, and so. Essentially, what we have is that we've got a, a spreadsheet with the expected uh, expenditures for the DPW equipment, 
um, was started by Trustee Galusha um, a while ago. And we, we don't have the same kind of prioritized list of expenditures for sidewalks, for sewers, for streets, um, for the uh, village hall and for the DPW building. And for me, so to really come into this process and say, I feel confident in this budget, that should really be the, the starting point. Um, and that goes back into an understanding of the reserves. Um, and of course, that's something that is, has changed this year with no uh, funding towards the reserves in the, the sewer fund. Um, we're saying we're taking a step back and we're trying to study the history of the reserves. Um, I think that if, if that's something that's really in question, you know, maybe that's um, an area where we should reach out to the, the former treasurer. I, I don't know how else to, to resolve that quickly, but to, to be going into the saying that we're not going to fund any of the prior reserves in spite of the council of recommendations that we need to be more rear risk with justifying expenditures um, based on the reserves. Just um, it's, it's difficult for me to, uh, to stand behind. So we didn't say we weren't going to do that. It's an agenda item for today to discuss. Right. And, yeah. and so I'm glad that we're, we're going into that. And, and finally, uh, my, my other, my last issue uh, for now is that it's, it's difficult for me to see the alignment of this with the, the comprehensive plan. So, you know, we're, we did up the, the spending for things like the Arboretum to $6,000 recently uh, from $4,000. And we've got something like thirty-five thousand dollars for the, the flower plant things. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, when when I look at this, it's hard for me to see how this is really aligned with the, the priorities that that we've set in the, the village on, on some of those um, uh, some of these peripheral items that aren't really core infrastructure. So those are those are the, the big issues, and I guess the, the supporting document for this is the the spreadsheet, um, the comptroller, uh, and what I presented last time was the. Um, uh, the, um, the budget policy for the sewer fund. Um, and uh, uh, one, one other item that I um, must have skipped over here is uh, the, the last balance sheet that I have on file for the village is the end of last year, mm -hmm. um, December 31. And it's, it's hard for me, you know, part of this is, is understanding what's, what's in the reserve funds and what's in the unrestricted funds for both sewer and for general. And so I would like to, to see an updated balance sheet um, detail on those, those funds so we can see if, if we're moving things in the right direction to ensure the, um, that we're in adherence with our own uh, fund policies. So that's that's a laundry list um, and I, I'd be happy to go into any of those issues or refresh the, um, you know, if you're having trouble remembering what those are, I can just bullet point those as well. Yeah, on the capital expenditures one, we, we approved the um, the specific purchase of the new, was it the tool cap? Mm -hmm. And that's 70 some odd thousand dollars. Um, mm -hmm. So that was the immediate plan. Mm -hmm. We haven't said, we, we talked about this earlier, a plan to say put 25,000 away or 50,000 away a year to handle the ones coming up. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm open to that. And he, we looked at we looked at the total and said, well, what if we needed to do this over ten years, right? So and it was five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. I don't remember. Yeah. It'd be helpful to have that. Go ahead. If I may, so <clears throat> the, um, the the comptroller has a really great section of their their website on multi year fiscal planning. And it describes they've, they've even got Excel worksheet templates, you know, that, that aren't really, um, you know, either Dan or I can can whip one of those together pretty easily. But um, the idea is that you've got you know, something like what we have for the DPW equipment inventory, um, and we can go a step further and say that the board actually adopts this, and we agree to set aside that much uh, for every year, and that should correspond, I think, with one of the, the reserve funds. Um, so we've got something that doesn't quite approach, you know, what the comptroller says, multi-year fiscal plan um, for the inventory, but we don't have anywhere near approaching that for any of the other expense areas. And, and I guess that's really what I'm, what I'm looking for. No, I think that's great. a great idea. And we're in our 10th meeting on yep. this. It probably would have been good to work on that a few months ago. To do that at the, at the 11th hour, I don't think it makes any sense. Yeah. It, it, would be, if, it would be half baked on something so important. I, I really wish we would made this a priority earlier. We as a board didn't. I, we could put a plan in place, but it would be a back of the napkin plan. It wouldn't be well thought. 
Um, you know, you want to make that a low number so it's not super impactful, but at least gets us going. Um, I'm all for that. Again, we're going down the list of um, uh, Mayor Plummer, yeah. uh, the list of um, concerns that uh, Trustee Lake had brought up at the last trustee meeting mm -hmm. um, where we left off um, from our last budget meeting. Um, and specifically, your concern is that we don't have a multi-year plan um, for infrastructure projects to kind of know, I mean, this this one item that we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, in, in this slide. Specifically item. equipment. Well, no, I, I think we've got the best got equipment plan of anything with equipment. Right. We don't have right. anywhere near that for sewers, streets, sidewalks, buildings. Okay, and just before you got here, the, the, my general thought is it's a great idea and we're at meeting 10. Um, if you were to plan this well, we should have done this months ago. It's actually ongoing and Zach, you may be able to speak with that as well to this um, because there really has never been a comprehensive sort of infrastructure overview of where we are and where we're going. So um, Zach and I have been working on it, DPW has been working on it. Yeah. Uh, we did just approve the CIPP lining for the maintenance and all the source, so that's a project that's going to be going on for <clears throat> three years. The equipment replacement schedule has always been there, it's just never been adhered to. So um, the plan has always kind of been present, but just not followed. So it's more difficult to keep up with. But the plan of how to fund it is what we didn't discuss mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But that can be ongoing. I mean, I think, you know, we, that's part and parcel of it. You know, you, you put together, what do we have? What do we need to do? What are the priorities? And what is it going to cost? So I think, you know, this, the budget's the budget, but we, this is a work in progress. I mean, this is something that we're putting together as we speak. I mean, I, you know, it's, I mean, that's been literally since the first month I took office. You know, what's underneath the streets? What's, when's the last time we did a chip seal? You know, what's the next step? What streets need to be redone? Danielle and I had walked um, uh, Bowden, Austin, Jackson with the local sidewalk. So we're starting to get together a, um, a pretty long list of work that's going to be required for. For sidewalks, I figure it'll take us probably two more days of walking that we've been getting all the addresses and all the that we've done, prioritizing it all. Um, it's in motion. It's just, you know, everything depends on who you are. So why don't we... that are there. Yeah, and I mean, we have a budget um, that you all have worked on, and it's balanced, and I think what we're talking about, you know, the idea, and I think we're all in agreement, Justin, you know, that we want to make sure that we're putting together everything for these projects going forward, but the budget stands on its own right now, and we can move forward with that and continue to do our work with infrastructure and all the projects. Yep. And that has always been the goal. Does anybody feel comfortable about wanting to try to start a fund that at least starts to put away some money for future years? Well, let's talk about um, the reserves. Remember, we all voted that we wouldn't put anything into reserves. We all voted unanimously. This was last month mm -hmm. until we kind of sorted out the language of the existing reserves because some of the, some of the funds in those reserves appear to be earmarked for some of the things that we probably are going to be looking at, whether it's a flush truck or certain types of repairs. So I think part and parcel of what we're looking at is let's take a look at those reserves. Uh, the direction was given to you and to our attorney to come back to this board uh, once we're on the other side of the budget with a recommendation for this is what the language is, this is what, how we could possibly amend it so we could access all those funds mm -hmm. moving forward. And then I think what we're looking at is somewhat maybe derivative of that. You know, clean up those reserves. Let's make sure we can access the funds properly and appropriately. And then what falls out after that? What are where are our priorities going forward? And that to me is, as I say, it's ongoing. It's it's not a sta anything static. It's a dynamic process, regardless of where we are with the budget. You know. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh, your hands up. Does she automatically, uh, can, does the meeting turn over to Mayor Plummer when she comes or do, do I need yeah. to do something procedurally? Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Sorry, Lily, <laughs> okay. I just wanted to add. Then we both recognize <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, Do I understand, however, that we had previously, or uh, previous board had set up already um, for the flush truck, but that no money was put into that account. Did I hear you say that at some uh, point? Yeah. If I may, as, as far as the, the flush truck is concerned, there there is a reserve fund. There is one, but there's no money in it. No, there actually is. There is more, um, okay. more than a couple hundred thousand dollars, I think. Um, it's it's very well funded. The, when I looked through the documentation that was uh, left about the reserve funds, it seems like that is intended for use uh, with the flush truck. Um, and there isn't as much ambiguity as has been stated around, the, around those funds. Um, so those monies are there, and, and I think that it's, um, you know, to, to me, I, I know that there's some investigation around the funds and, and there should be, but it's not as ambiguous as it's been made out to be when I looked over the materials. So I, I no, we, pr we appreciate your opinion on that. And, and I think, you know, um, our attorney, I think, has, has some concerns about that language. And that's why they've been directed by the board, both Dorothy and the attorney, to, to further pursue that. Um, yeah, Dan. I think that's a really pragmatic approach to wait to see what the uh, attorney says in there before we start we, funding it additionally. So I would draw my earlier idea. Um, and also, the um, just if you could speak to the flush truck, how frequently are the flush trucks used? Is a, not the flush trucks, the flush truck. How frequently is that used in general, would you say? Uh, Just roughly. Very reactive at this point, but yeah. we uh, leaves the garage maybe four or five times a month. Okay. Yeah, just so we get a sense of the usage of the piece of equipment and the level of investment and, you know, all of that. Yeah. Was your, was your hand up or was your hand up? I have another yeah. question. Yeah. Are you finished with the Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, I saw your hand up earlier. That's yeah, right. You can go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. You're like a blur down at the other end of the table. I apologize. <laughs> In any case, um, I know we had discussed this before, but given what Justin has presented uh, as concerns of the comptroller going forward, that how were we were justifying the uh, the continued 10%, um, I wonder if the board would like to revisit that. I know you all decided that 10%, um, the automatic 10% increase each year. We want to do a few bit. Do you want to think about that again, given what Justin has pointed out with the comptroller had a concern regarding us continuing to raise the rates without justification of expenditures? You know, I'd like to weigh in on that. Um, and I've been thinking about that because I, I do understand just as a matter of course, it's been. Yeah, we just automatically just, okay, been doing it. Okay. I think of all the years, this is the year where we could justify 10%. Uh, we're in an inflationary cycle. Our cost of goods and labor has increased. We're absorbing, what was it on a percentage basis, something like six or 7%, yeah. roughly more, mm -hmm. uh, just even at this point, and it could go higher. So, I mean, I think in terms of this particular time when we're having this increase, I think we really could, it, it, to me, as, as a practical matter, it makes sense okay. because costs are going up right now. Next year it might be different, you okay. know. And I, I think you know they're they're good points, but I think that's my stand. Yeah, Justin. So as as far as that point there goes, let's let's take a look at the fact that we're increasing. We're saying we need more funds because of inflation, but then we're appropriating over a hundred thousand dollars from the sewer fund balance, and it's not balanced. So why are you increasing it if you're decreasing? I, yeah, I think Dorothea wants to speak to that. It yeah. is balanced. You, the board's agreed yeah. to use fund balance to balance the, the sewer budget. This is the same thing the board did. This is the same thing the board did last year when they decided they wanted to do the mining project. They wanted to use some of the fund balance to do that, to do the project. That's exactly what the board is doing this year. We just shifted it from last year to this year because it was unobtainable this year due to the getting the bid documents ready, getting it out to bid, or waiting on the bids, it can't be completed this budget year. So we shifted it to next budget year. It's just a shift. So you're carrying it forward. We're carrying it forward into into this the board budget. agreed last year to use it had the fund been, balance to yeah. cover that project. So we're doing the same thing because we did have a large amount of um, 
dedicated fund balance. You know, the board decided that was a great use of those funds. So this is another kind of <coughs> sewer project and it makes perfect sense if you want to use the fund balance. That's, it's there for that. It's unrestricted. So the board agreed to use it to reduce that unrestricted amount <coughs> we had in, in the account. Right, so it's intentionally unbalanced because the revenues don't equal the appropriations, right? Correct, but it mm -hmm. does balance at the end of the day because you're using fund balance to make the balance zero. If you agreed to take from your savings to cover the account. Right, so we're making a decision to, to lower the, um, the balance, which I, I guess I, I still have trouble seeing that as, as being balanced. We're, we're intentionally changing the level of funds. So in order to make that decision, um, since we're, we're spending more than we're bringing in by $100,000, right? And, and we're saying that that's a legitimate expense, and that's fine, but then that should be accompanied with a full understanding of what the reserves are and what we're saving for. So, you know, it's not balanced based on that on that uh, calculus that, you know, my understanding of what is going for um, the appropriations. I see it differently. So if, if I might just finish, though, I, oh, I know do. that there yes. is a, um, uh, there has been some mention that, you know, this is uh, the, the notion of what we're saving for, uh, the reserves can come afterwards. Um, and I also agree with Trustee Keating that this is something that probably cannot be fixed at this point for this budget, um, given the amount of time that we have left. Um, but I don't see it as, as something where the, the budget stands solidly on its own. I see this as something that is quite foundational. And it's something that in part was called a comptroller, and I think it's related to the overall budgets. We don't have a good understanding of what we're saving for. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to, you said a lot. <laughs> and we have for years lowered our fund balance for mostly for legal fees, I guess, really going back. So now we're, quote, lowering the fund balance because we're finally able to do some projects and invest in our infrastructure. So I see this as not necessarily a negative over the longer term, as Dorothea was saying, that this is finally, we're getting to projects that need to be done. And we're making the investment in our village and in our infrastructure. So I have a different view of that. Yeah, Renee. Uh, it sounds like you and Zach and others are already working on um, sort of this long-term vision mm -hmm. and the priorities that we have for, for infrastructure. And we're, as everyone said, we won't be able to finish this before the budget needs to be approved. Mm -hmm. Do we have a deadline? Could we establish a deadline for that? I know it's a lot of pieces. Is it like, you know, is it going to take this whole year to finish? And it has taken yeah. a whole year to just even... Yeah, the this, on it. yeah, this is a this is a biggie, uh, but we were talking about, and it would be probably the last meeting of this month, uh, giving an update to the board. You know, just saying this is kind of real. You know, how we started, where we are now, the landscape, and what, yeah, and really where we're going. And um, I would like to remind the board that um, I have brought up, and Zach has as well, numerous times over this past year the idea of putting together this sort of this infrastructure report probably is an accurate, I wouldn't just say database is probably, I think a more accurate reflection of what we're trying to do. Um, so it's something, again, it's dynamic, it's updated, the goal will be to update it quarterly. So we could all see on a quarterly basis kind of how we're tracking once, you know, once we pull the, the data together, but we have to collect the data first and get it all in, in a way that's sort of accessible and extractional so we can move forward. And so, and you know, Danielle's been great with that. She's, she's diving in, Doug's helped us, you know, everybody's, it's really all hands on deck with DPW. But the, we will have an update. We've been speaking about this at the yeah. last meeting of this month. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. I, I agree that that is the direction that we should go in. And I know there has been some work in that direction. I, I guess that as far as the inventory goes, um, I don't know if you were here when I mentioned this, but I think that the uh, the comptroller resources for multi-year fiscal planning are really where we want to start. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're they're very concrete. There are a couple of webinars, mm -hmm. a couple of template spreadsheets. We really just need that for the different areas of village expenses, mm -hmm. and I don't think that it should take um, a tremendous amount of time to get a start on those with you know um, ten or twelve items per per spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, we're, we're saying here that we've focused on this through the last year. I really have not seen um, a, a whole lot of motion that, that inspires confidence that we've done that. We've mm -hmm. been talking about things like the Arboretum, 
um, other issues that you know I, I don't feel are uh, legitimately in the public interest um, as far as it goes to um, justify closing parts of the arboretum, that kind of thing that we spent significant time on. We have not spent the time that we've needed on important things like these multi-year fiscal plans. And in my opinion, that's how we've ended up at this point today. Thanks for your opinion. Appreciate that. Anybody else want to weigh in? So uh, what's the action item here? Well, back to Li Lily was yeah. asking if we wanted to revisit the 10%, mm -hmm. right? Is that where we yeah. can I look at that? I had asked that question earlier, and I, mm -hmm. I know the board had already discussed it. Right. Um, I didn't know if you wanted to it was it in light of what um, Trustee Lincoln had brought to our attention uh, regarding the controller's report. Right. So the controller reports saying uh, village officials have not adjusted sewer rent rates to correspond with the actual annual cost of sewer services provided. So you're saying this year, if if we were to be audited, there it, we would be able to demonstrate that it's commensurate with the, the I'm saying that I think we should really talk about that, that there is, you know, Zach, you know costs are going up on everything. So I, I'm thinking this is probably one of the few years, few years you know, where you say, geez, we're in an inflationary cycle. We know that labor is tight, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's your, exactly. your concern and that's, that we would be audited again right. and then same. In, in, the, in the letter, the comptroller is saying these are unaddressed issues. And I, I think that we just have a, well, the issues haven't been addressed for years prior to this. So uh, here we are. And what, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the snapshot going forward. So the, as the well. specific concern here, if if we are saying that we need these funds, um, then and, and the 10% increase is justified, then why are we also purposely depleting our reserves? Right? So we're, we're going in two different directions here uh, in, in terms of the budget because it's intentionally unbalanced. And I, I will push back on the, on the term that it's it's balanced because it, it seems like it's not. That was a conscious decision. But if we need the money, let's let's keep the, the level of the fund balanced rather than, than charging more and even with the reserve. I don't know what I'm following that logic. Yeah, it's two separate things. Yeah. I, I, I'm not following that, that line of thought. Okay, explain two separate things. Can you, oh, yeah. sorry. No, go ahead, Dan. I'm sorry. You were, I just heard him say something too, so. Well, to Dorothea's point, the the fund is, for all intents and purposes, balanced. Correct, it's balanced. You're taking from your savings account to make everything for your budget to be balanced. So that's objection one. Um, second, we are, um, Allocating money differently this year, and we all thought that was a good idea. Um, and that um, depletes the uh, sewer fund in a responsible way, in a way that is defensible. Saying X, X percent, and it's done all over the place, X percent is um, of, of our time, of Zach's time, of Dorothea's time, of Brooklyn's time is spent on sewer issues, mm -hmm. so it should be accounted for in that way, and that right. is all. And that is, that's per NICOM and also the, account, NICOM, and, so and the accounting we, firm. We yeah. agree that that's a good idea. Yeah. And um, we're still we're still waiting for the um, work from Jeff mm -hmm. on, on um, how we can properly handle those funds that are in there. Um, and so we're not, and we we think we're going to keep up with a 10% increase this year, um, just to keep with the times. And then we're going to um, do a study and document well why we think that 10% is, is an accurate number. And then uh, we make a different decision post Jeff's report mm -hmm. on how we fund the sewer fund going forward next year. Seems like a pretty reasonable plan. Yeah, and I think you summed it up nicely. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next? I just have a little, another yeah. process question, and I, I don't remember this. At any time during the year outside of the budget, you know, this cycle, mm -hmm. 
can changes be made? Can adjustments be made? Or is it only happen just at one time, one time a year, this time your, of year? Your budget is flexible. The only thing so it can be visited flexible. at any time. Correct. You can make a budget amendment mm -hmm. at any time. The only thing you can amend is your sales tax, not your sales tax, your property tax collection or your sewer rents. I guess you could raise your rents in a year, but I would say that would be objectionable. Yeah. I would, you know, it's your main income things really are limited unless you suddenly had an income source come in, you could amend your budget to adopt that as well. So your budget is a living, breathing document. Yes, it can be amended. You can decide let's say we get everything done in the perfect world in six months we look at we have the reserves and we reallocate the funds within where we want them where we can access them you can say you know what let's set up a reserve for this let's shift mm -hmm. twenty five thousand from unrestricted fund balance into that reserve absolutely and we do it all, and we did it with the last time we did it significantly besides the end of the year was when we gave salary increases in the fall of 21 we did an amended budget at that time to mm -hmm. reflect and you just did it with the sewer fund. You agreed to exactly. You exactly. agreed to establish that reserve for the catastrophic. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the word wrong. Sorry. Sewer actions that could happen by funding it by three hundred thousand from the unfunded. But it's a good and question. The budget's not frozen. It's a dynamic right. document. So, yeah. Yeah. And to, and we can to, make adjustments. Sure. Point. Of course. To finish this up, Lily. I think um, we all had agreed that we would take this Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all agreed we would take a look at the end of the year when the final uh, uh, tax payments come in. And then we're going to make some decisions to reallocate things at that time as well. So that would be another adjustment. So we, we could, if we find that we need to allocate more to the sewer fund, that'd be a good time to do it. And that's in really just a few weeks, right? When we get that payment in the, in the May. Yeah. Yeah, and that's always the issue is that we're doing the budget when our year isn't closed out, we, you know, we're always kind of, well, we kind of think it's like this. So um, I think, you know, again, Dan, you raised a good point. And Lily, that was a, a good question. So, yeah. So what else? Yes, Renee. Do we think that um, looking at, back to, to Justin's initial concerns about making sure we're following the recommendations provided by the comptroller, mm -hmm. like if they were to come back in and look mm -hmm. as they do, <laughs> and look at previous years um, and say partially implemented, implemented, we feel like we're in line with their recommendations. And, and I also think, you know, the, the fact that um, we're um, looking at um, reserves that we haven't been able to touch, I think the controller would, <laughs> that would be a good thing. You know, in other words, okay, that there's money out there that you haven't really been able to access as a board. We're taking that action. We're investigating. We're going to be amending, potentially repurposing as needed going forward. And that, that would be um, a positive thing that we're taking action on that. Zach, you wanted to add something? Yeah, I was just going to say, um, I believe uh, the bid um, for the CIPP line is going to be uh, starting the 21st, in which we should have a good basis of understanding of how much uh, those costs are going to be going up for this year yeah. versus uh, what was is, <clears throat> contracted for the last few years. So um, there was that was just an idea of, of how much more we would we'll give us a gauge for what's really out there. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. Yes, Justin. Um, you know, there, there are five members on this board, so there's room to disagree. And, and obviously, I, I disagree with some of the, uh, the perspectives that have been shared. Um, Renee, just to your point here, my, my view is that as a snapshot in itself, this is actually a step backwards from the comptroller recommendations. Um, and yeah, well, that's, there's room for different opinions on that, too. Um, but I, I did want to ask, just to clarify, um, as, as far as the updated balance sheets, Dorothea, is that something when you think we get those? I'm going to say that isn't coming anytime soon. I talked to Ms. Plumber on this. I'm going to talk to the board about this. I am with Williams and Law Book, starting working with the computer. I talked to the accountant. We're trying to get January in. There are some discrepancies, some concerns. So Williams and Law Book is going back looking at December and November because they're not sure it's quite balanced. So until I am told, and I was told directly in Brooklyn, you can verify this, to not do another, don't put any more entries in. So he's going to get back to me. I was hoping to have January close this week. Yeah. Um, I'm stuck. So is, okay, I, I think that's a really critical point right there because we need to know what our, uh, how much money we've got. Uh, 
so you know to me without having the the balances of the unrestricted funds at least as well as the reserve funds i i wouldn't even feel comfortable voting on the budget well we're we going to get this in time for the budget I can't promise that, Justin. I am working with them as diligently as I can. I'm waiting on them to give me the final okay to move forward. They're trying to balance it out and make sure everything makes sense before I enter the new data. But the bottom line here is if you find that you don't have the revenue or you don't have something you budget for, and honestly, it's with the sewer, you're deciding to take from the um, unrestricted, you can always not do that. You can decide not to do that as you move forward. Is it, it's not written in stone, you gotta spend the money. If you don't have the money, you don't have to spend it. And and the the idea of uh, what was closed out may not have been accurate. It's it not, isn't off by no, like it's not two hundred thousand no, dollars. We have or, no shortages like that. There's nothing We're like just that. Off it's, minor things, but right. before I enter data, they want to make sure everything balanced and makes sense to the bank statements to everything. It's it's could be Mary's interpretation when she did it right. to what was put into the balance. It's different people balancing out the books. And please don't raise an eyebrow. I'm not making this up. Of Brooklyn, am I repeating word for word? I'm not trying to create a false narrative here. I'm not saying Mary did anything wrong. Absolutely, I doubt in a million years Mary did anything wrong. I'm just saying there's two different entities looking at something. We're trying to get to a solid number the same way so I can move forward. And that's why um, in, in previous meetings, um, when we've had these discussions, um, it was made very, very clear that for any new treasurer coming in would want to make sure that what has been done prior is is vetted mm -hmm. and clear before they start in on their entries regardless of who the treasurer would be that is just best practice going and forward and so this is what we're seeing right it's writing it's the labeling of the funds it's all kinds of cross pieces you have several funds you have two funds, you have several different accounts, make sure everything balances to what was in December with January and when we enter January. But if they can't get December to make sense to them, which I didn't have any partake in those numbers, I can't move forward with January. And you, and you, you, it was for a discussion with the accounting firm to not do well, that. Well, it was with the accounting and it was yeah. with the software company. Yeah. And we absolutely do not put another entry and let me get this figured out. Right. Yeah, when, if I, uh, I apologize for, for raising my eyebrows there, it was not to imply things that you're doing anything wrong, it's not to, to put blame on anybody for this, but, you know, this is a surprise to me, I guess. Well, and this it just happened like, Friday. It just happened. I, just, like I said, I've been working along with that, with the budget, trying to get things in, get everything entered, working with Brooklyn, getting the numbers, creating the entries, going, talking to the accountant was talking to Williams and Lago and scheduling time to have them go over the program and, and the entries and make sure I was doing it right. The entries are in. Everything's great for so far for me putting in for January, but we can't go for it until December is verified balance. It is not coming up balance. Can, so as, as far as next steps, uh, what does the, the board feel that we should do in this case where we, we don't have uh, an updated balance sheet? I, my suggestion would be that, you know, I would personally as a board member like to have frequent updates about this as, as far as how we're progressing towards being able to, to see the, the current, um, our, our current balance sheet and our current finances. Um, and again, I, I really feel like this is a, a blocker uh, for me in, in terms of adopting any kind of a budget. So to answer your question, uh, the, the first thing is um, to thank you in Brooklyn for your for the work you're doing and ask you guys to flip Justin's question around. What can we do to support you to help with this? I would just say have a little patience. Let's give Williamson one look. Let's give the accountant a chance to, because the accountant actually was doing the bank reconciliations, have them work out what is the mm -hmm. discrepancy, what, what's not matching with the computer software. Once they have that straight, I can move forward. So the hope is I gave them everything they needed by Friday. This is Monday. I'm hoping a phone call tomorrow and talk to Williams and Lovell to see where we stand so it can move forward. I'd say a lot of the entries are in already for entry in, for January because I put them in. They're verifying them, but 
they can't verify those until we get December resolved. Sure. So hopefully they'll say December's resolved. This makes sense. Let's make this adjustment. Let's switch the way, way this is labeled. Maybe we're just confused on something. And then we can move forward. So this could be, you know, you're not going to see through April before the budget. Yeah. I'm going to and that's that. never been the case. No. Yes. I'm hoping to have January close very quickly. Once we figure that out, then hopefully we can move and close February and just as quickly. So will you see more updated numbers? Absolutely. I can't promise that because again, I'm pigeon told by I'm working mm -hmm. with two other people who are telling me at this point, don't do any work until we figure this out. And it could take uh, two minutes by the time they figure it all out and it could be longer. And of course, I'll keep the board appraised, but I'm really hoping I get a phone call tomorrow or the next day and say, let's get back to work. So the takeaway on this really is that even though some of these months haven't been closed out, um, it's not that what we the board has had in terms of information is not so far off by hundreds of thousands of dollars. No. It is maybe some line items that kind of entries were maybe put in, in in a place that didn't perhaps make sense or somebody else did it differently. Correct. So it's not that we, we have absolutely no idea There's of what kind of funds we have, what we're doing. So we, we now know that, that part. We also, um, again, um, and I, I will remind the board that the actions being taken are what was discussed with the entire board going forward, that you'd be working with the accounting firm, you'd be working, yeah. they would be vetting those numbers. They would make sure that because there is now a new treasurer, regardless of who it is, that's what you do. This is best practice going forward. And so the um, idea of you know keeping everybody informed, thank you very much. You have informed us. You found out on Friday. Oh, let's see, today's Monday. Here we go. We're being informed, and now you'll give the updates as, as needed. And when you you guys you know sort it out with the accounting firm and uh, with the software company. Yeah, I don't foresee mm -hmm. there's any major drama here. I think yeah. it's just the way someone does one entry compared to sure. the way they did the entry. So it's part and of the transition. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Some new manuals. Some I can accept that. It's it's just getting everything yeah. on the same page. Yeah. That's it. But right now, I can't do anything until everybody right. agrees. Right. And and as Dan brought up, you know, it's happened in the past, you know, in terms of just not being as current when you're adopting the budget. So yeah, it's a, it's always the biggest frustration. Yeah. And we do have a deadline mm -hmm. when we have Absolutely. to, to yeah. adopt the budget. Yeah. So we do have to keep working. So we're on um, track. Yeah, um, knowing the discrepancy is helpful. Like, are we talking about, you know, it, what, it, in some cases with the general, it's like 60 bucks. It okay. could be a check. When, with, and that's yeah. just one check the checking account. I mean, it's nothing major there, but you get to sewer was a little different. This one account was a little different. You know, it's the labeling. Are we understanding how this is being pointed to this? It's nothing where I would say there's major funds missing. No, God, yeah. no, that is not what we're talking about. It's making sure everything makes sense. It went in and out, how it was going in and out, and where it's hidden. That's the problem, and that's what we're trying and, to do. And to that end, too, um, you, both you know, you and Brooklyn have been looking at lines and saying, you know, there's too much stuff in the one category. Maybe we need to add in additional categories that helps to clarify how things are being entered. So there, you guys are really, you know, drilling down on this going forward. So uh, hopefully, we'll we'll have even more, expl you know, explanations for some of the line items that seem to be a little more general, we weren't quite sure. sure. And I think that's very helpful. Sure. Yep. What else? Can I ask a question about um, something that Justin brought up at the, the beginning, um, just about, and this is how it always is, the budget, the tentative budget we have to put out, we have to put it out so early mm -hmm. that we continue to work, and yep. we have work sessions like mm -hmm. we have been doing, and there are differences by the time we get to um, yep. uh, mm -hmm. the hearing date yep. and then from what the tentative budget that's been published is, how do we handle that at the you know, I, the BGSB is at this point, this is what we were looking at. Now we're looking at this. This is what we're looking to do. We're expanding to this. We're including this. We've made amendments here. It's it's part of the presentation. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, it's it just to inform right. everybody, you know. We shifted funds from yeah. here. The bottom line, it has no impact on there's no tax increase on this. There's no, it's not changing the bottom line of the numbers, just where you shifted yeah. funds to go. 
And to Renee's point, um, I would advocate for posting the latest version with the current meeting. I think that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I, yeah. I, yeah, which I would think we would do. Yeah, that's we should fine. do it. Yeah. Great. I have a hard stop at 6.30, by the way. So yeah, OK. If yeah. I could go back to so mm -hmm. one item that I, I brought up, and I think that Dorothy would want to respond, uh, but she didn't get an opportunity about the combined uh, clerk treasurer line mm -hmm. on the budget. How, what, do you, what are your thoughts on, on um, how that should be already? There are separate duties. So you allocate the funds towards the duties. So what we did is take the split. You know, what I did is the time, my total salary, I'm just mm -hmm. going to speak to me. I split between me and Sewer, then I split between 50 50 between treasurer and clerk. So, and that's how I allocated it. Brooklyn is totally under treasurer. Gotcha. Other people are under clerk. When it says clerk in the budget, that isn't just the clerk's line, that's the whole clerk staff. That's the deputy clerk, that's mm -hmm. everybody, whatever falls into those lines. It's not dedicated. Yes, yeah, some lines technically you could say is per person, but not all of these are like that. Gotcha. Okay, I was I was just thinking maybe is it a no you would, it, because that's the actual duties being performed. Yeah. They're they're assigned. And I, I can be okay with that too. I just wanted to make sure that we discussed it. And um, yep. as as far as the the only change that I would uh, still like to see there is clarity under the sewer fund about which part of those responsibilities is going up with the, that fund, just like we were talking about with the um, uh, the board salaries. Right. I use the line that has been used in previous years for sewer administration. I put the personnel that is associated with the breakouts to that line that was done in the past. So the board wants to break that line further to show board salaries, which there's a question out here, and I don't know if the board is taking questions from the public, we usually don't during budget discussions, but I, I'll answer this. It's not a large sum for the village board, it's mm -hmm. a large sum for anybody. It's 10% of the trustees, 25% of the mayor's salary. It's, it's a minor amount for the management of the fund. It's, Makes sense. You right now in this meeting, you talk to sewer most of the time. It's, it's part of the cost of doing business for the sewer department. I mean, I would also point out as I was looking at the sewer lines, and we did not dis we did discuss breaking out other areas, which we did not. And I would suggest we need to have that discussion thoroughly because right in this I discovered in the past week, sewer doesn't pay for any insurance outside of workman's comp. It doesn't pay for any liability for vehicle insurance. It doesn't pay any of that. That is a cost of doing business. So, you know, you can look at it one of two ways. General is offsetting the sewer department so it can stay in business and sewers and has extra fund mm -hmm. balance. And should that be happening? Sewer should be responsible for all its own. And so again, um, based on all the previous discussions about this, sewer really is should be treated as a standalone sort of sure. profit center. Or, yeah, it should you know, be able to afford itself. And, yeah. and that goes okay. back to the comptroller. The sewer fund right. should be able to pay for its own expenses by its earnings. Right. Which technically all its expenses are being allocated to the sewer mm -hmm. department that should be allocated to the sewer department. And that's a deeper dive into the budget. Mm -hmm. And I do agree with you that goes with the multi-year. Mm -hmm. As I said to yes. the mayor, once we finish this budget, I think we should sit Go down right. and start with the next exactly. budget and do three years out and forecast. Exactly. I've always said that. I think that's practical because it mm -hmm. makes the budget process a lot smoother when you have the groundwork already laid and you already know what you're looking mm -hmm. to do. So, so, so did that satisfy do you need her to add an additional or us to add in it not to put the weight on you um any additional details under the sewer fund for those salaries because that was the first thing you brought up or I, I would like to see that i'd like to hear other board members thoughts i mean is that a, a useful is it, it's an accounting matter. no i just need to yeah, write an administration line out and if that's important to you i yeah, why not do it? okay with that it's a structural yeah. change this yeah. year i think it would help the more percent. details yeah, so more yeah. 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 More clarity. And, and I think that would go mm -hmm. somewhat towards the comp what the comptroller is saying about understanding what the expenses are to justify the, the fund balances. Okay. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. adding a line to the line that can do that. Okay. Yeah. You guys can do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was just thinking if it, never mind, if it made sense to rename an existing one, but it doesn't. Never mind. No, I mean, if yeah. we're. Never mind. I, I, what I will ask right now, what do you want me to break separate? Do you want it? separate for just the trustees in the mayor? Yeah. Uh, That's a start. Yeah. Well, well, you were, this was something you brought up. So what, 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 
you originally well, said the trustees and you know, what like you, yeah. you want me to break out? That's I don't know yeah. if it matters a whole lot. Maybe if, if what uh, I think that what Dorothea mentioned a moment ago about having it not be about a, a particular salary but about the role, maybe if we're just saying board member uh, in general, you know, okay. and all together for trustees and mayor to keep. Even though it's system. different for the mayor and the trustees. Even though it's different, just okay. you know. I can combine those and put it in. I would disagree with that. I would think because they're different, you would break it out. Yeah. Break it out. I would. I would prefer to see it broken out. Yeah. Just it because be they're two different. Cool and you wouldn't have any idea. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I can put. Yeah. Yeah. I can put mayor and I can put trustee salaries yeah. in there. Because it is fine. different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a new account for clerk treasurer with only one account under it, which is just um, salary? Um, are you talking about under the sewer fund? No. Under, no. In the general? No. I think okay. I said this, I think I said this right, just yeah. in inquiry okay. on that. Yeah, okay. so that's not under the administrative. Mm -hmm. administrative it's under the administrative along with Brooklyn, along with Steve, along with and records. It's mm -hmm. there. Village hall based. Um, administration and the other line is for DPW. Yeah. So the only thing I'm unclear about was whether we result we were sticking with the 10%. Is that correct? That was my understanding. Okay. Yeah. That was my and understanding. And I'm at 25 too. not for sewer. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was we're talking, talking about to sewer. a new topic. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're going to the overall yes. funding of the yes. Oh, you're talking yeah. to where you're going. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, you we're are right. Still on the salary. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. I was jumping ahead. I There's thought we were done. I know. I know. We okay. can finish this and then I'm sorry. I, I, I just wanted to, to mention for the record, I, I don't agree with, with that one, uh, that allocation of, of expenses in, in this budget based on the other factors that I mentioned, but that's that's okay. I'm one, one more member. Just wanted to know that. Okay. What else? Yes, Any other things to cover? You missed at the beginning. Um, we do have a. Uh, she did adjust based on our last meeting where we changed the salaries. And yeah. That. And so she adjusted, and, and we do still have the same level. The only the only thing I wanted to talk about was what I sent around an email today around. Um, you know, I'm not saying this is my point of view, but it is a point of view, which is that tax increases were in place to handle exorbitant legal bills. We raise taxes accordingly. Now that we don't have those exorbitant legal bills, knock on wood, you can make an argument to lower taxes because otherwise you are effectively sort of, it, it's, I don't want to be like the gas companies that the price of oil goes up and they raise the price of gas immediately and then oil goes down and they really don't lower the price of gas. Um, so the idea that we would raise them for this exorbitant thing and then that exorbitant thing is not there anymore and, and we don't lower them we've effectively made a temporary tax increase a permanent one. Now, the, the counter argument to that is that we were not funding things that we should have been. Mm -hmm. And so that delta between where we were and where we are is now, instead of funding legal fees, is now funding things like the projects, and yeah. projects things that we can get done in the kind of So that's the argument okay. against it, but yeah. I did want to talk about it to make sure that everybody mm -hmm. was comfortable with that. Because a little part of me wanted to say, well, those exorbitant legal fees are over, let's lower taxes. But I don't think we can do that. I just want to make sure we're, we've had that conversation. Yeah, Justin. Really, that point, I, I think that it, it goes back to understanding what we're saving for. What, what are the fund balance levels, the reserves that we're, we're trying to establish? And, and to me, that's not clear enough to make that kind of a, a decision at this point. Okay. What the rest do you think? Are you comfortable leaving taxes flat? Or would you like to go more for a decline to account for reduced legal expenses? And let, let me give you some numbers on that, just so you know. The average over the last few years on legal expenses was um, uh, 192. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. The three three year average was 251, and our recommendation for this year is 165. So it's it's 85 thousand dollars less this year. But we're keeping our taxes the way they are, mm -hmm. and so we're spending 85 thousand dollars. That we we're spending on legal fees on other things, and are you guys comfortable with that? 
I can tell you, I, I like the idea of not raising taxes. Yeah. I think we're in a good position to just remain, you know, flat at this point. Um, I also like the idea that we are now have funds, for lack of a better word, freed up to really go back and look at some projects and do projects that have kind of been in, on the back burner for a while and get some stuff done. So I think, you know, that's, that's my take on this okay. going forward. So you wouldn't like to see a reduction necessarily in the taxes? Are you talking about this year? Yeah. Or? Yeah, I think keep it flat this year. Maybe, you know, next year, let's, we, let's revisit it. Of course, you know, we can always revisit it, but I think this year, um, and again, there's a lot of moving parts this year with, you know, a war in Ukraine, supply chain issues, cost, inflation, you know, there's still a few moving parts this year. So just if we can at least keep things flat for this year and then go back and revisit it and also hopefully get some of these projects moving forward, you know, that's, that's the goal because that's an investment in our village. I would also point out that we're looking at recovering our fund balance with yeah. years of depletion. Um, we're hoping we're making big strides like this year with yeah. that, but you know, and then there's also, as Justin brought up, the equipment and other schedules that, you know, we might need to set reserves for. So if we do mm -hmm. have any amount of free money, it should be looked at in that way, going to those mm -hmm. reserves. Does that have to be justified for passing the budget? What? Or the ones that we use? We, we have, you, if you have, you can't anticipate you're gonna have freed up money during the budget. You're hoping you're spending and your expenses are pretty, your revenues and your expenses gonna come right close to there. You don't know till the end of the movie. You do not know. That's <laughs> you don't know till the end of the movie. Say, I'm, that's why I've been saying, yeah. don't say we have a surplus because we don't know we have a surplus until May. Because once again, we're doing our budget before our fiscal year is ended. You, right. know? you know, so we're still have, not, we don't know how the movie ends. If your revenues come in in May and we're balanced in May and it looks really good and, you know, we see that there's a reasonable amount of extra money freed up in there and your expenses have stayed where they are, then that's a good time to say, you know what, yeah, yeah. you need to set up a vehicle replacement reserve, let's set it up, take mm -hmm. 50000 Or you can do that again next year, next year's budget. Mm -hmm. You know you just added that to the fund balance. It's not going anywhere, it's going into a savings account. It's mm -hmm. unrestricted. It can be restricted at any time. Yeah. So. You know, that's all I can say. Yeah. I mean, at this time, I wouldn't make any changes because although we're budgeting more for sales tax, I'm not 100% confident. Yeah. As I said, I wouldn't budget to what we're getting this year because I don't know what the yeah. people are going to do. Yeah, I, I agree with being a little more conservative on that. You know, I mean, just you go in the grocery store and yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but I cringe at the register waiting for that yeah. to pop up. Nothing like an $80 bag of groceries. Two twenty five a week. Brutal. Yeah, and those legal fees are mentioned, you know, several times in the comptroller's mm -hmm. report as well, just about the, the weight of that. And yeah, so it's good to talk about it and revisit it. Um, and I am not, I think staying flat is my preference back to your question yeah. right now, given we're now working towards some infrastructure, long overdue infrastructure projects too. Fair enough, I agree. Staying flat and sounded like a win. Yeah, I yeah, know. I know. It does. Yeah. 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 Good news. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody come. Okay. Yeah, so Justin, sure. If we're off of the, the tax mm -hmm. topic, um, I, I wanted to, part of the budget, of course, is, uh, involves staff member salaries, and, and that's something that we don't talk about in the meeting. But uh, I wanted to ask the, the mayor when the last performance reviews we have on file are, both for EPW and for office staff. That would be an HR question. Performance review. Because there was COVID. I mean, there were a lot yeah, of other issues. Been a few years since yeah, we and and we have all yeah. we've talked about that as well, putting that back in place. Yep. I think COVID kind of got. Okay. You know, that was before I took office. So. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I do think yeah. that the, the performance reviews are, are critical in terms of understanding the direction of salaries going forward. And I would like to see those. Yeah, and also we have a number of new hires, and um, that, that was part of the hire. Hiring process that there's going to be, you know, reviews coming up. 
typically after the mm -hmm. salaries have been dictated to the employees and I've been given that information yep. from my staff, I have relayed that to them. And, and I, you know, I have discussion with my employees all the mm -hmm. time on the performance back and forth, and it's not necessarily a set time mm -hmm. to discuss things as they happen. Good but but mm -hmm. I'm in agreement with Justin that a good a formal process is something to mm -hmm. work on, and that feels like something we should talk about in a trustees meeting, not a budget meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else? Do we want to add it to our next agenda so we can talk about it, or? Yes. Or is there okay. Email. Just, just, okay. <laughs> sure. Put it on. And that's not this week. It's next week. It is yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Fourteenth. Okay. We'll make a motion to adjourn. Or do, are there any comments? Okay. I'm good. Uh, did you want to touch on the contingency real quick, where it's landed? Well, I think we're pretty comfortable leaving the contingency where it yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. But I just want to make yeah. sure before there's anything else sure. that I need to change prior from this meeting. I think, we're good. I think it's been a good discussion. Yeah. You know, okay. thanks everybody, really. All right. And I'm, I'll tell you the thing I'm most interested in is, is our end of May discussion around what, I, what actually came in and what you yeah. do with, I'm with the wind. I'm very farm. hopeful yeah. that we're going to have lots of extra. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, we did receive the dividend from the insurance company yeah. earlier. That's right. 17000 Um that's, that's awesome. That's more money that comes back into the coffers and yeah. reduces the expenses. So it's a good thing. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Well, that's nice. We're ending on good news. Seventeen thousand. So is this our last Monday meeting? Yep, it is. So we won't be meeting again before the court before the hearing on the fourteenth. No. Unless the board calls for it. I mean, I think we're. I think that's what I was. Yeah. To know if you guys are good, we're moving forward and we'll work on the good. Good presentation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. So if you need help with that, the bullets and things out or PowerPoint or whatever, I can do that. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm actually, Zach Danielle is going to be helping me out. And apparently, she's a whiz with PowerPoint, so she's all excited because she's going to help me with the DW stuff. So, but if we have any questions, we may we'll, we'll find us. yeah, we'll find everybody. So, process question again. Just I don't know how many people are online or whatever, but um, coming uh, the 14th, there'll be a presentation, a budget presentation. Mm -hmm. That's the hearing. Mm -hmm. We can we take input and we can make any changes there and adopt it that night or yep. um, what is the final deadline if for some reason? The final deadline to adopt the budget is May 1st. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so anytime before then. Okay. We have done past years. We've had the budget hearing one night and we've adopted yeah. at the last meeting in April. Um, I'm understanding today there's a couple emails going around with people on able to attend that last meeting of April. As I said, you can schedule a budget hearing on its meeting on its own for the adoption. If you don't yeah. have a doc on the 14th, you can make that decision. You can just pick a different date where we you know we can all date, be together. Say, that's the date we're going to yeah. do. After the 28th? Pardon me? Uh, you can't go much after the 28th. Because it has no. to be done on May 1st. To that. Yeah, because it's got to be adopted by May 1st. Oh, if we don't, okay. the board doesn't adopt the budget by May 1st, the okay. tenant budget do, becomes okay, the budget. Yeah, which really isn't going to impact much because and the, the numbers are the same. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you for clarifying. Okay. Okay. Anytime. Go ahead. Okay. We're set. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? One second. Roll call. Trustee Leggett? Aye. Trustee Lanfair? Aye. Trustee Stetter? Aye. Trustee Keating? Aye. 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 Motion Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thank everybody for joining us. Thanks, Brooklyn. Thanks. Thanks, Ross. Yeah. Yeah.